Hello, intentional lock or intentional locking is a mechanism to help the lock management to do its work. So but let's first start off with the problem itself. If you're familiar with the topic, you can skip this one. Imagine you have a database. Uh, basically, we want to talk about the locking uh, the, the locking granularity granularity. So one database has multiple tables and one table has multiple columns and one column has multiple rows and now we have several transactions that want to have access to our fields so imagine imagine one transaction wants to lock this one and another one wants to lock this one that's basically no problem and another one wants to lock this one so we have somewhere in the system our locking table I just make this short table that has a reference to that one and that one and that one and imagine another transaction wants to lock this one the first thing we have to do now is to check is it locked is it locked is it locked and if our list is even longer then we have to check a long list if the new item that should be locked is locked or not this is a problem so what we want to do is we want to keep this locking table as short as possible so what we could do is of course we just lock the tables but if we lock for example this table then none of the other transactions can do anything in this table this will result in very long waiting times and there's actually no need for that because as you see they want to access different fields so there's actually no problem right so the problem is the locking granularity on one hand this one gets really big and on the other hand we can't go to parallel processing so now we invent the intentional locks let's say this transaction okay let's say first re remove these okay this transaction wants to access write access this row so it wants to lock this one what it then does is it does an intentional lock and just make it short i for intentional intentional locks this which means basically for the system attention I want to lock something in this tree so this is basically not locked as in locked right okay so it just intentional locks this one and then it locks this one and then we can imagine we have a, in, a intentional locking table and it contains the table one let's make this a one this is a two and this is three and so you can understand it better right hi and I should stop speaking Japanese in my English videos sorry for that okay so now it's the next one the next transaction wants to lock this one and was what the management system does now is it, check, it knows okay this row is in this table so we first check this one ah oh wait this table has an intentional lock so we have to do further checkings and now we can check this long table over here we find out it's not locked so we can use it actually and then our third transaction over here wants to lock this one which is in this table and we first ch check our intentional locking table and we see oh no that's fine so we finished the checking if we can or cannot lock it very fast and then we intentional lock this one and then we lock this one which looks like an O let's make this like it's an R so we lock this row and we just intentional lock this one right so we add the table three to here and that's basically the idea behind the intentional locking mechanism I hope I didn't explain it wrong this is as much as I understood it if there are any errors problems just let me know in the comments I will correct them and please read the video description because updates are going into the video description thanks for watching and I hope it helped